everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top highest paying engineering jobs. So let's get started. I thought I would just go over what exactly uh, the highest paying engineering jobs there are so that if you are also one of those people who are interested just in, in the salary or in the pay and you do have a bit of interest in these different job titles then that would be great because you can find a engineering job that's one of the highest paying ones. I hope you guys find this helpful and useful um, but yeah so I'm just going to get into it. Now number one is big data engineer and the median salary for this engineering job is $155,000. The reason why it's number one is because it's in high demand. What big data engineers do is create the hardware as well as the system architecture so that others can utilize and interpret the data. So that's just the general uh, thing that you'll do as a big data engineer. And again, they're in high demand. Um, a lot of companies are looking for engineers nowadays with that experience. So that's why they're number one in the list. So the second one is petroleum engineer with a median salary of $132,000. And the reason why this one is, you know, number two is because it's very risky. Going and extracting petroleum as well as natural gas from the ground, it's a very risky job because you could easily injure yourself. You could easily, um, a lot of things could go wrong. And so you have to take um, huge safety measures and precautions in order to you know, do this correctly and do it right. And not only that, but you have to know what you're doing with the processing or the um, extraction of the gas. If something were to go wrong on how you extract that gas, you'd have to know how to figure that out. And again, it's very dangerous because you're dealing with something that's very flammable and could you know, explode <laughs> in, a, in a sense. So that's why they get paid so much. And there's not a lot of people out there who you know, have a degree in this field. But if you are interested in patrol engineering then definitely go for this degree because they pay pretty well. So number three is computer hardware engineer and with computer hardware engineers the median salary is $115,000. So kind of what I am but also you know it's not exactly I'm more of computer software engineer um, but computer hardware engineer again it's those people who are part of the developing and uh, designing of hardware systems for the computer and you know it's basically in the title you go and make sure that the computer is working the way it should you have to build the the actual components of the computer all the hardware specifications you have to make sure that those are working so yeah that's basically what you would do as a computer hardware engineer and if you're interested in that um, that's great then you can just major in computer engineering and you know have an emphasis in hardware and you're good to go number four is aerospace engineering with a median salary of hundred and thirteen thousand dollars so in general aerospace engineers build aircrafts uh, spacecrafts uh, missiles and satellites so anything that you know goes up into space or goes out into the sky and flies obviously that's the aero part um, but you know if, if you are interested in doing that or if you're interested in planes or flying um, you're interested in seeing the rockets um, launch and everything, then maybe ma majoring in uh, aerospace engineering is, is right up your alley. Uh, you may actually really enjoy that field. So number five is nuclear engineer with a median salary of $105,000. Mainly these engineers develop the tools and instruments needed to um, utilize nuclear energy. So if you're one of those people who are just fascinated with uh, you know, the atom and you wanna participate and help others to use the nuclear energy in other ways um, to create different things, then you know, being a nuclear engineer would be perfect for you. So you may like it and you'll also, at the very least, be getting paid very well. The next one is systems engineer with a median salary of $103,000. This sounds like the computer hardware engineer, but it's actually completely different. Um, it's actually nowhere near what computer hardware engineers do. Uh, system engineers in general manage the technical infrastructure of a company by maintaining the hardware and software required to keep the company running and the business moving forward. So if you're someone who has strong communication skills as well as good managerial skills, if you're able to understand all of those hardware and software terms and understand the technical information and be able to uh, explain that to someone who 
doesn't know that or doesn't understand that information or doesn't have that level of knowledge, um, then this job is perfect for you. So the next one is a chemical engineer with a median salary of $107,000. So if you have a background in biology, chemistry, or physics, or you're interested in any of those topics, then this degree would probably be good for you. It does pay a lot, and if you are interested in you know, chemical biology, physics, then that would be great for you. But again, there are six other engineering degrees that pay better on average than chemical engineering. And based on my previous video, um, if you guys haven't seen that, you can go um, look at that or click in the top right. They are one of the hardest engineering degrees. Um, it's number four in, in the hardest engineering degrees. So it, it's something that you really need to consider uh, when you decide if you want to major in chemical engineering because it's going to be a very difficult time and very, um, probably very, very stressful. Uh, but if you're willing to put up with that and you think it's worth it, then more power to you. And yeah, so just think about that if you want to become a chemical engineer and weigh out those options. So number nine is electrical engineering with a median salary of $97,000. Now this salary was reported in 2017. It is now 2022. Uh, so that is five years ago. I honestly think it's gone up quite a bit pretty significantly since then. Um, based on other information and sites that I've seen, it's averaged around 110,000, 105. So I think it needs to be you know, moved up in the list. They only build and work with the hardware components. So they're the ones who you know, build the microprocessors, they build the motor and radars and radio communication systems. So if you are interested in any of that, then this would be perfect for you. It is the hardest engineering degree to get, so just please keep that in mind. If it's worth the you know, difficulty to get the degree versus you know, the pay, then you know, go for the degree. Um, you, it may not even be that hard for you because it does depend on the person and their preferences. But yeah, just keep that in mind if you decide to become an electrical engineer. So number nine is biomedical engineer with a median salary of $88,000. So basically what biomedical engineers do are developing tools for medical professionals to help their clients um, heal or to get better. And by tools, I'm mainly referring to the medical equipment used by other doctors and nurses to analyze something that's going on in your body, make sure that you're healthy and you don't have um, some sort of disease. All of those machines in the medical field, I don't know the names of all of them, I just know MRIs, uh, but all of those machines and those equipments that doctors use and nurses use are all developed by these biomedical engineers. And if you're interested in doing that, if you want to be part of the medical field, but you're not really interested in interacting with the patients per se, but you're more interested in the hardware and tools that they use, then becoming a biomedical engineer would probably be right up your alley. So the last one, which is number 10, is the environmental engineer with a median salary of $86,000. Um, similar to electrical engineering, this was taken from a 2017 survey, so that was five years ago. I'm sure it's gone up with inflation and everything that's going on. So in general, environmental engineers work frequently with the construction industry, um, and they also use earth science, chemistry, and physics to help solve the environmental issues. Because of the nature of this work, they tend to spend a lot more time outside. So if you're someone who doesn't like being at a desk job and likes to go out and venture out and do other things outside, then this job would be perfect for you. So in summary, number one is big data engineer, and then number 10 is environmental engineer. Um, again, it, it all depends on what you prefer. Uh, I would suggest going for the highest paying job that you find the most interest in. Um, logically, that would make sense, but you know, some of some people just have a knack for certain things. Some people have a knack for electrical engineering and, and designing circuits. So it all just depends on your personality and the easiest way for you to get as much money as possible. More bang for your buck, so to speak. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you would like to see uh, more about this video or go into more detail about it, um, also let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys find this useful and helpful and thank you for watching, bye.